Hello everyone. Today, we're going to tackle a seemingly impossible task. We will install a 64-bit version of Windows on a system with a 32-bit UEFI. This is usually not possible. But with a little grub magic, we can bypass this limitation. It's a bit complex, but follow along carefully. First, you'll need a USB drive with your 64-bit Windows ISO. Ensure it's bootable. Rufus or similar tools can help with this. Next, you will need a Grub environment set up. This is the crucial part. We'll use Grub to load the 64-bit Windows installer. Now, let's look at the Grub configuration. You need to edit the grub.cfg file. This file tells Grub what to load. The exact location of grub.cfg will vary depending on your Grub setup. Look for it in the slash boot slash grub or slash boot slash fe slash efi slash grub directories. Inside grub.cfg, add a new menu entry for Windows. This entry will load the Windows installer. The grub entry needs to use the chain loader command. This command passes control to another bootloader. In this case, we'll chain load the bootenfew.fe file from the Windows ISO. However, directly chain loading won't work. We need a trick. We'll use a 64-bit EFI loader. This loader acts as a bridge between the 32-bit UEFI and the 64-bit Windows installer. A suitable EFI loader is crucial. You can find such loaders online. Place the EFI loader on your bootable USB drive. Now, adjust the grub entry to first load the 64-bit EFI loader. Then, the EFI loader will chain load the buttonfew.fe file. Here's an example grub entry, menu entry, Windows 64-bit install, insmod chain linux slash fe slash fe 64.fe chain loader slash fe slash buttonfew.fe. The slash fe slash fe 64.fe is the path to your 64-bit EFI loader. Slash fe slash buttonfew.fe is the path to the Windows bootloader on the ISO. Adjust these paths according to your USB drive structure. Remember to replace these example paths with the correct paths on your USB drive. After editing grub.cfg, save the changes. Reboot your system and boot from the USB drive. Select the Windows 64-bit install entry in the grub menu. If everything is configured correctly, the Windows installer should start. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Windows. This process can be tricky, and compatibility is not guaranteed. Some hardware might not work correctly, but it's a way to install Windows X64 on a 32-bit UEFI system. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Consider supporting the channel through donations or Patreon. Your support helps us create more content.